Doppler. Okay, so we said we might run into a couple of superheroes, and that's yeah. fine, but what I don't want to run into is rain. Yeah, um, we don't have that for the next few days, but it is going to be back middle of next week, but at least we've got a nice rest of the weekend. I love it. Yeah, that's all <laughs> we care about at this point. Today was gorgeous. Tomorrow I don't think it'll be quite as pretty, but it's still going to be warm, and it's still going to be dry. Next shot at rain showing up Wednesday of next week. In fact, that'll be the primary weather maker that we'll be tracking, it appears, uh, with rain chances right now sitting at 60%. Let's kind of preview it coming on in. There will be an upper-level storm system and a cold front that eventually will slide across the Tennessee Valley. That, though, probably does not move in until Friday. But in advance of it, we're going to pick up a band of rain and thunderstorm activity arriving on Wednesday. One of the things we're going to be watching and we'll keep you updated about is the timing of this. Now, the most recent data suggesting that this will be some morning shower and thunderstorm activity, which could limit the potential for seeing anything severe out of this. So hopefully that will continue to be the trend, but be sure to check back with us for updates. Regardless, we are going to get a round of showers and thunderstorms coming in with this weather maker. And again, it's all about timing as to whether we're going to have any strong storm activity with it. As it stands right now, We'll say no severe weather in the forecast, but again, that could change as we get a little bit closer on Wednesday. We will get new information tonight. We'll get a new severe weather outlook as well that will cover the Wednesday time frame, and we will let you know tomorrow if anything has changed as far as that goes for us here locally in North Alabama and Southern Middle Tennessee. In the meantime, though, uh, no concerns out there. Way 31 triple Doppler. There is no precip that we'll be tracking this evening or tonight or through the day tomorrow for that matter. Latest here with Future Radar showing the only change between what we had today and what we'll have on Sunday, some cloud cover back in. Most of these clouds, though, they're going to be thin cirrus clouds, which means we're still going to get a good bit of sunshine through them, just not complete blue sky like we enjoyed today. Here we are at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. We'll say a um, few clouds out there, partly cloudy at the noon hour tomorrow and a mix of clouds and sunshine heading through your Sunday afternoon. Despite a little more cloud cover, though, it is going to be a warm day. In fact, temperatures will run a little bit higher tomorrow than what we saw earlier this afternoon when we hit the upper 70s in most locations. Pollen levels, they're back up as well. They were held down a lot of last week due to the rainfall that we had that was persistent. But now that we've dried out and warmed back up, the trees are still doing their thing high to very high on the pollen levels for the next few days. They'll take a little dip on Wednesday with that next system system coming in, bringing some rain with it, and then likely going back up towards the end of the week. But again, keep in mind, as the trees continue to leaf out, the pollen levels will start to go down, at least from the tree pollen. Then we'll start talking about grass pollen levels as we head into the early summer season, which is uh, what we typically deal with pollen-wise at that point. 53 tonight in Scottsboro, uh, Fort Payne, Gadsden, you'll dip into the 40s. Huntsville, Decatur, 56, same for Moulton. Expect to fall back to 57 in Muscle Shoals. So headed out to church first thing tomorrow morning. Maybe we'll need just a very, very light jacket. Certainly won't need it later in the day. Again, some filtered sunshine through those high clouds. Afternoon temperatures will make a run very close to that 80 degree mark, and we will have a southwest breeze around 10 to 15 miles per hour. 82 in Muscle Shoals and Decatur tomorrow, 81 for Huntsville and Fayetteville. We'll go 82 for a high in Scottsboro. Uh, taking a look here at Chihuahua 31 Storm Tracker. 10-day forecast, a warm start next week. Low to mid-80s continue Monday, Tuesday in advance of that rain coming in on Wednesday. Still fairly warm, though, even through Thursday of next week before we do start to cool the temperatures back a bit heading into next weekend. May have a few showers next Friday, but right now previewing next weekend. I don't think it'll be as warm as this weekend, but perhaps just as nice with temperatures in the upper 60s for highs. Oh, my. It yeah. seems like Alabama weather's all over the place. Yeah, we got some ups and downs with the temperatures, but hey, if we can get a couple nice weekends in a row, we're happy about that. Uh, sure am. Thank yeah. you so much, Jeff. You bet. It's almost